With the help of some fellow glitch hunters, I found a Mercy FPS dropping exploit on Paraiso, and I'm not exaggerating when I say it could be the single most game-breaking glitch I've ever seen. Since heroes like May, Bastion, and Torbjorn have been removed from the game for a couple weeks because of their old bugged abilities, I fully expect either Mercy or Paraiso to be locked until the end of the season with how wild this glitch is. The bug I'm going to show you today is strikingly similar to Genji's pet dragon glitch, a topic I've covered multiple times before on this channel. Both pet dragon and this new mercy bug abuse a mechanic that has existed in Overwatch since its original release. Basically, when the game is in its setup phase, if you leave the attacking spawn room, you'll be teleported back inside. The game doesn't want attackers escaping their spawn before the game has begun, and this is their way of making sure no one gets out. Originally, this was used to make Reaper's ult go off before the game had begun, a harmless little bug, right? But things quickly got out of hand when Pet Dragon was discovered. The Pet Dragon bug occurs when Genji activates the spawn escape mechanic six times before the start of a game. If done correctly, when Genji ults, the dragon animation will persist around his character model, and for some reason that causes the frame rates of the enemy team to massively drop. After some experimenting, a spot to do the Pet Dragon glitch was found in the Paraiso spawn, but the FPS dropping part of the glitch was even worse than on other maps. That brings us to the culprit of today's video, Mercy. At around the same time Pet Dragon was discovered, a similar bug was found for Mercy. If she happens to cause the spawn escape mechanic to go off 7-9 to nine times, her staff and gun animations will play at the same time. Originally, this meant nothing, because it was really hard to get the glitch on control maps in the first place, and there were no FPS dropping effects as a result of the bug. But now let's look at Paraiso again. As you might recall, Genji's pet dragon bug behaves especially weirdly on Paraiso. The same is true for Mercy's gun and staff animation glitch. If you activate the Mercy glitch, then swap back to your staff, you'll start to notice that your frame rate is quickly dropping. In fact, everyone in the lobby should start to notice their game freezing up. After only a couple moments of having your staff out, the FPS of every player on both teams should reach a nearly unplayable level, and this effect gets a lot worse every time the Mercy dies and respawns. In addition to the low FPS, this glitch causes latency and interpolation delay to both skyrocket. That causes a lot of lag, and it's really bad. After diving a bit deeper into the glitch, I realized that the malicious side of this bug is incredibly easy to abuse for wins in competitive. If the Mercy doing the glitch swaps back to her pistol, her FPS and lag in general should go back to semi-normal levels. The lag for the rest of the lobby is still really really terrible in this situation. This could allow a Mercy player to take an entire Paraiso lobby hostage before getting rid of all the lag for herself and pushing the payload alone to the finish line. Although there are many ways to counteract the glitch if you ever come on the receiving end of it. By leaving and rejoining, you cleanse yourself of all the lag, and additionally, if you do not select a hero until after the Mercy starts the glitch, you'll escape the FPS drops. If the Mercy swaps heroes, the lag should go away as well. Overall, this glitch might be one of the craziest that I've ever come across. There were a couple server crashing bugs in the past, but never a glitch that allowed a player to simply take an entire lobby hostage like this one. If you enjoyed learning about this bug, consider checking out my Pet Dragon video for more info on bugs that involve the spawn escape mechanic. Otherwise, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.